before we get started, make sure to stay until the end of the video because I'm gonna be live streaming on a different day next week to accommodate stuff with E3 and you don't wanna miss it. Okay, now on to the video. Are you excited for Pokemon's E3 presentation this Tuesday? Because I am. Everybody in the Pokemon community is speculating about what news we're gonna get, especially around Pokemon Legends Arceus. But what if we could use data to predict what will be shown in this trailer? To answer this question, I've rewatched every single Pokemon trailer. Then I looked for trends, both for what was included early on and also for changes over time. From this analysis, I made a list of what we're most and least likely to see in Pokemon Legends Arceus E3 trailer. Starting with what we're most likely to see, if new Pokemon are going to be in this game, they're most likely going to be in this trailer. Almost every single Pokemon game has shown new Pokemon by the second trailer. Even the Let's Go games, which were remakes of Gen 1, teased Meltan in the first trailer. We might not get a whole bunch of details about these new Pokemon, but they'll at least be hinted about in some way. And if we don't see new Pokemon in this trailer, there may not be any. Similarly, if gyms are gonna be in this game, they'll be in this trailer. The data shows that every game that has gyms shows them by the second trailer. Sun and Moon are the only games that don't show gyms, and that's because they don't have any gyms. So if there aren't any gyms in this trailer, there probably won't be any gyms in the entire game. Another thing that will probably be in this trailer is new features. Typically in trailers for other Pokemon games, these would show different ways to interact either across games or across players in general. For example, you get things like raids and contests. So like, are we going to be able to transfer Pokemon to and from Pokemon Legends Arceus? Can we battle against people playing Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Kind of like Gen 1 and Gen 2 had some tiny whiny stuff. Those are the kind of questions we might have answered in this trailer. There are also a few important characters that are typically introduced around this point. We usually get to see the professor and the player's rival. Considering the professor was already teased and there have been some leaks about the player having a rival, I think we'll probably see both of these in the trailer. Okay, on to the things we're least likely to see. I know a lot of people are hoping that the starters will have different final evolutions. This isn't something we have a lot of data on, but for the most part, starter evolutions are not revealed early on. The exception to this was when it was obvious that they'd have mega evolutions, like how Blaziken could already mega evolve, so it made sense to reveal Mega Swampert and Mega Sceptile. For Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawa, we have no reason to believe that they would evolve in any sort of different, special way. Because there's no hints of that, even if they do evolve into something different, we probably won't see it in this trailer. That might disappoint a lot of people, and I'm sorry, but that's just what I'm seeing from the data. We also probably won't see the champion in this trailer, if there is a champion, of course. In the past, the champion was never shown in early trailers. They're meant to be this mysterious final boss, so revealing them too early kind of ruins the mystery. But recently, the champion has taken on a more public role in the game. We see this especially with Leon, who was revealed in the second trailer for Sword and Shield. Leon is very much an in-your-face kind of champion, but I feel like if there is a champion in Pokemon Legends Arceus, they'll be more of the mysterious type, so I doubt that we'd see them in this trailer. Another thing we probably won't see is the evil team. In the past, it was common to show the evil team in the first or second trailer, but for the past three generations, they haven't been revealed until the fourth trailer or later. A significant reason for this is that Pokemon puts out a lot more trailers than they did in the past. We'll probably see the evil team around the fourth trailer or so. It's just not very likely that they'll be in this specific specific trailer. So yeah, those are my predictions for the upcoming Pokemon Legends Arceus E3 trailer. What do you think we'll see in this trailer? Let me know in the comments. My schedule for next week is going to be slightly different because of E3. I'm going to post my reaction to E3 on Tuesday instead of live streaming. Then on Thursday at 8 p.m. I'll be live streaming Pokemon Snap. If you want to chill and chat about whatever happens at E3, make sure to tune in then. My Sunday Pokemon anime reaction will post as normal. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Kayla Capsule for sneak peeks of upcoming videos. Bye!